Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Phantom Brigade. So we're going to hop into this liberation mission with Nadia Harper Kilo and Lars Jacobson Sierra in the Longbow and Protector mechs. And let's hop right into it. It's a medium difficulty mission. We should be just fine. If you guys are enjoying this series, please let me know. I'm I'm only start, just started this game, but I'm already enjoying it. So many lives lost. So much devastation. This isn't what I wanted for you. I thought you'd be born in a time of peace and prosperity. Of love among people. But the world is so different now. Tanks patrol the streets. Neighbors turn on neighbors. People disappear in the night. They keep telling us this is temporary. That we'll come to love our new way of life. Somehow, I don't believe them. I want to give you the freedom I once had. But how can we few do that alone? We can't keep Pope alive for much longer. We pray that someone, anyone, will answer our call. Now that was pretty cool. I really like that. The enemies will be more challenging from here on. Blah blah blah. Use cover. Avoid using important civilian buildings as cover to protect them from danger. Destroy this alarm tower to halt enemy reinforcements. You can target the environment while aiming your attacks. Left control for alternate targeting mode. This home guard unit has joined the fight. Use its long range weapon to strike targets from afar. Gotcha. Awesome. Okay. So where are the enemies at? So we got one here, here, here. Oh, I can even see their bar. I didn't realize that. I was just looking at it. But Okay, so this first mech is going to come this way and lob a grenade. Is that what he has? One shot MLS. Weird trajectory. Looks like they're going to lob a grenade. We've got a tank which is going to come up here and fire at the guy on the hill through the building. And this guy is going to move over and then shoot at one of our guys. Okay. So we've got this guy who is currently blocked from firing at this guy, at least at the tank. If we wanted to, we could shoot him right here, right at the start. So let's go ahead and... He's a little out of range. Let's put up the start of the timeline. 41, 35. I could take him to attack this building. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I don't attack right away. Maybe I move him up here. He's still blocked here from getting shot at. But he's now in the optimal range to attack the tank. Maybe we attack the mech first. That's a 68. Yeah, let's attack this guy first. And then once he's down here, You can attack this guy. Oh, that's blocked. Gotcha. Okay. Maybe at that point, then we'll move this guy in a little bit further. He's got long range. I don't really want to bring him in. We can attack here. This guy. That's still blocked. 
Okay, we'll get rid of that move. Maybe then we bring him over this way and attack this other tank. Right here. Oh, it's also blocks is the building. Gosh dang it. This city attacking is really difficult. You know what? Maybe I will just attack this building here then. Uh, maybe not the top of the building. Let's go ahead and... Wait, what was this? Eject pilot. Oh, no thanks. I'm using left control. Oh, right. Let's just attack right here and get rid of that building, the alarm tower. It's not the best turn. I didn't like that too much. Okay, we've got Mr. Shield Boy. Oh no, that's the other guy. Let's use the shield guy first. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the shield. Um, if I can get him right around to here. Nope, go this way. Yeah. What we'll do is, is he getting attacked at all? He is right there. So let's go ahead and set target protection from that guy. I don't know if that's going to work because he's going to fire over top, but might as well try it. And then let's get this towards the end of the turn. A little out of range still. Stop targeting that guy. Stop that. I want this guy here. It still blocks. Maybe move this forward just a little bit. Is that blocked now? Optimal range. It's not blocked. Okay. We're in a kind of crappy spot right here. In terms of like the where the, they're sitting at right now. If I were to attack at the beginning, what's this guy? Okay. We won't do that first. We'll go ahead and move this guy up just a little. I don't think he's going to get attacked with anything. Yeah, no, he's safe. So we should be free to attack with this guy. Starting here. Let's go ahead and attack that guy. And then let's get another attack off. I wonder if he can get a third one in. We can. Let's get it on the mech. Not my favorite is to move in the world, but I don't know. I think we can do much else. I did not see any damage done to this building, so I'm not sure if I did anything. But we got the one tank, which is fine. Oh, he'll be overheating. That's unfortunate. He will not be. He's still in range here, so let's go ahead and move this guy up with him, pretty much. Just up to there. And as long as we're not going to overheat, let's go ahead and attack this guy. Yep, just like that. And then let's get another attack in, maybe. Maybe not, but maybe we get a shield in. He's not getting attacked from anybody, so they should be okay. No need to then. Okay, let's get this guy. He's going to get attacked by both of them. So let's go ahead and run him down this way up oh, just right there we'll go down here and we'll wait to right there to attack him and i don't think we have yeah we can't do any more attacks without overheating okay so we'll then move this guy where do we move him afterwards? I don't want to move him there. Oh, that's the guy we already planned. This guy's going to overheat a little bit, unfortunately, but I guess we can't do much about it. So 
Let's go ahead and move this guy up to this building. He shouldn't overheat at all. Too close. Uh, where's the overheat bar right there? We'll use the secondary attack because uh, the first one's too far. And then, yeah, we'll just move him a little bit further up to there. I think that's all we can really do. No overheats there. This guy's going to... Oh, it was our first guy that overheated. He's going to get shot at, but there's not much you can do about it. Okay, let's just go ahead and execute that. Alright, that building took the damage for him. Okay, so they do want us to take down that tower. Let's go ahead and just attack first thing, and we'll attack... that. I don't know if that's actually going to destroy it, but just go like that. These guys should now be in a position where they can actually, we'll take the shotgun guy. I'll take the shotgun guy and move him up way up close. You can just get him right there. And you know, wait till right there. And attack. And you can attack again. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and take this guy up. Move him this way, in case we don't get. Um, oh, too early. There. We'll get that. Um, we'll make sure we get this tower. That should take out the tank. I can't imagine two shotgun attacks won't take out the tank. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All hostiles eliminated. I guess that was supposed to take more of the turns. But there's that mission done. That was nice and quick. Let's see. We will get the marksman rifle and we will get the shield. Uh, I don't think we need a torso. Let's get the arm. And the legs, I guess. Oh. We can take it off. Oh. Yeah. What about this? Can I take this? Oh, I'll just take it. Okay. Might as well take it all. There's no reason not to. The Liberators. One of your pilots leaped down from their mag face flushed from the heart of battle in the high of victory. Let's prove these Liberator rumors true, they call out, raising cheers from the rest of the crew. A grueling journey lies ahead of you, but the role of hope cannot be forgotten. It has sustained the civilians this long under these conditions. Perhaps it can sustain you too. If you can secure this province, what's stopping you from taking back your homeland? Within reach, your recent efforts for, with your recent efforts, for now the civilians are safe, however your numbers are too small to permanently hold the area. Ensuring people's continued safety means calling in home guard forces before the invaders can reoccupy. You've built up enough momentum to contest the province and take back control. When you deliver the news to the city, to your crew, they buzz with a mix of anticipation and nerves. This was always your goal. Might be a small rebel unit, but with the, the tech you can turn the tides of war. Then let's do it, they say. Okay. Contest the province to call in the home guard. Home guard will engage the enemy, tying them down and giving you opportunities to strike at key objectives. Distracted, the enemy won't be taking sites back. The village you have liberated will 
be the least of your worries, okay? So we can test it. State of the allied and enemy forces above. The province will be liberated if the enemy forces are depleted and lost if the home guard forces run out. Okay. Objectives will be designated by the take by the home guard throughout the conflict. Take them out to weaken the enemy's power. Okay. Get the breakdown. Okay, we can prepare these for the ambush. But first, it took a little bit of damage. They should repair. Hopefully, they should repair on their own. And then we could put better legs on you guys. And better arms on this guy at least. This guy will be fully upgraded, except for his handgun. I don't feel like giving you the shield. But I can give you the shield. Get you a better one. Oh, we have an extra torso for you. That's all we have for those guys. Pilots are still good. Can't access the base yet. Inventory is good. We have a marksman rifle. Maybe we put that on somebody this time. Anyways, we can head over here and take out these guys. There's a resupply. Looks like we can go there to resupply. I'm not sure how that liquid fix repair resource so we should be repairing these guys yeah okay so as we travel we repair them as long as we have this liquid fix stuff whatever that is we'll go ahead and keep moving this way okay and then we're just moving in it's a high value target Any closer and you lose the element of surprise. Suit up. We will go ahead and do, let's see, about, uh, yeah, we could do another mission. This is a much lower threat, so we should be okay. Nadia Harper and Lars Jacobson, we'll take them out. Actually, do we wanna? Do we wanna change this to, let's change it to this guy. And this time we'll be taking Rashad Rosin Foxtrot and Devin Tay tango a little bit different but should be okay and then we'll go ahead and deploy gotta give some pilots the rest you know can't just make them do every mission Uh, I don't know if they have it yet, or if I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I would like it if you could get better uh, commander skills, just like sort of in XCOM or Phoenix Point. That way, like, there would be a point to taking out new pilots that you have. Uh, but they do have the health, so it looks like if they get hurt, they can't um, go out, but... If they're not her and you play well, then you don't have to worry about it. I don't know. The VIP is piloting this mech. Try to surround and concuss him. Concussive damage depletes pilot health. A pilot will be knocked out when this bar reaches zero. Concussion damage is doubled for hits from the back. Once the VIP is eliminated, prepare to retreat. To retreat, move your unit here and plan a retreat action. There's the retreat action, but I don't have any... I wish there was like a shield bash thing you could do. Um, who has the most concussion damage? So you have 8, so that'd be doubled from the back, so 16. This guy has 15. Okay, so we'll use this for sure. Because doubling that would be 30 from the back. So we can just attack right away. Just take him out.
Go ahead and move you there. I don't know if we need to like surround him. We'll go ahead and move here. And then move down. Oh, he can't jump off. It's dumb. Anyways, we'll just get rid of that then. We'll move up with them. Try, actually, get rid of that. We'll try and move up in front of this guy. So we can try to shield from this guy. Hopefully that works. Not sure if that will. Um, I would love to know what we need to... I don't want to kill him. They said to... Eliminate or concuss the VIP pilot. Retreating the result of the defeat. Okay. Um, then we'll move this guy up to here. I don't want to move too far. No. We'll take this guy. We'll attack. We'll move up. Good enough. I want to know what happens. Oh, he is not concussed. So he's only at 13. Okay, so we need to hit him again at least. We'll hit him again. From the back. We'll move up a little bit. Oh wait, he's not moving any further. So we'll just go ahead and attack as soon as we can. And then we'll take this guy. He is getting shot at, so we'll go ahead and shield a bunch. Just this guy, and then we'll shield right after towards this guy. And sort of just keep him there as a wall. This guy's just going to attack. And then we'll get another attack in on this guy, just in case. Oh, he shot his own guy. Really shooting his own guy. I did not know that you can shoot your own dude. It makes sense, but I didn't think that would happen. Oh, well, okay then. Looks like... I mean, actually, we don't even need to do that. We can just shotgun. We'll just shotgun. And then he's going to take a shot there. Let's go ahead and put that towards him. Um, and then we can shotgun again here. It's that guy. We'll move this guy over here. Attack this guy. Attack that guy. There's the shield. Uh, VIP died, I'm guessing. Oh. I wanted to concuss them, but I guess I didn't get that. You got 150 batteries? We'll take the sniper rifle. I guess that's intact. We hit the shield. Ooh, we get a new mech it looks like. Uh, so can we take all of it? No. We can only take one. This is different stuff, so we'll take the machine gun for sure. And they'll scrap the rest, I guess. Well, we gotta confirm that. There's nothing much else we can do. After a victory like that, on the radar, keep your momentum, minus 20 war score for the enemy. A call for A. On the other side of the province, things aren't good. Home guards, comms are haired, ambush, heavy loss is surrounded, they need your help and they need it now. Rescue the home guard. Gotcha. But first, 
Battles will break out in contested provinces. Aid the home guard to turn the tides, but don't take too long or the province will be lost. Okay. I thought we got another mech. I guess not. We got a sniper. I think we're going to have to use that this next time. I would really enjoy it if we could get a third mech. They're a little damaged. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and move this way. We won't get this battle in this episode, but we can at least move there. Plan it out. Oh, what's this? Unknown contact? Oh, there's a base there. We'll have to attack that afterwards, if nothing else comes up. Here, just in time, the battlefield is a desperate blaze of crossfire. Suit up. Okay. Threat 100. Okay. We're going to take this guy. And rather than the AR, we're going to take the sniper. Keep you back. I'm liking that. Start rifle, machine gun, marksman rifle, marksman rifle, shotgun. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and take... Uh, he's got the shotgun. I like the shotgun. It's good damage up close. But, of course, getting up close is not always the easiest thing. I can't upgrade you any further. Nor your shield. Uh, assault rifle is close range. Machine gun is... A little bit further away. These are the same, right? Yes. It's a little bit further away. We'll, we'll keep on with the shotgun, I think. And we'll go ahead and take out... Sierra and Kilo again. Actually, we gotta put them in their respective max. Yep, that's what we'll do. But we're gonna have to have the Sierra 45 battle site mission next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It always helps me out. And I'll see you all next time.